and welcome back to the channel. I'm Clifton3D and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about YouTube and what they have recently changed and what that means for smaller creators like me. First off, let's go ahead and get into this article and then we're going to talk about it. All right, so here we are on TechCrunch. Look, I don't know the page. This page has been recommended to me in a group that I'm in with different YouTubers. And uh, yeah, so YouTube is lowering the barrier to be eligible for its monetization program. This on itself sounds great. Now, I know there was a little bit of controversy. However, reading the article, I don't think it's quite that that bad. So let's go ahead and just read this article. Um, YouTube is lowering the requirements for creators to get access to monetization tools under the YouTube Partner Program. The company is expanding its shopping affiliate program to US-based creators who are part of YPP and have more than 20,000 subscribers. Okay, so this is not me. Sadly, it has nothing to do with me. And I am not entirely sure if this will be for me at all, but I'm definitely, definitely going to help out other creators. So let's continue reading. The Google-owned company said that the new conditions to be qualified for a partner program are having 500 subscribers, which I'm almost 300 away from. No, 200 away from. Almost 200 away from now. Three public uploads in the last 90 days. I, I think I do a few more uploads within 90 days, don't I? and either 3,000 watch hours in the past year, which I have a little over 2,000, or 3 million shorts views in the last 90 days. I don't do shorts because we're going to read the previous conditions, and I can tell you there's no way I would meet either criteria for the shorts. Um, previous conditions were having at least 1,000 subscribers, so they have that, and either... 4,000 watch hours in the past year, which, you know, going down a 1,000 is great help, or 10 million shorts views in the last 90 days. If creators meet the new threshold, they can apply to become a partner of YPP and, and get access to tipping tools like Super Things, Super Chats, and Super Stickers subscription tools like channel memberships, and the ability to promote their own merch with YouTube shopping. Now, this all sounds great. I'm pointing out something. So yesterday, a few people were talking about these 3,000 watch hours needed were also needed within the 90 days, which I don't know how you would get that other than having three computers running at the same time, going through all of your videos and having multiple people do that. Uh, it's going to be pretty damn hard. But reading this article, it tells me it's still, for an entire year, you need the 3,000, which is great. I'm almost there, and I've not been doing videos for an entire year. So I should be able to get this. That being said... That being said, it doesn't seem like this right now is for Germany, which really sucks. I think they should do it across the board in every country, period. You know. Anyway, if cre uh, I've already read that part. The three videos, video upload per 90 days criteria is intriguing as long video creators may not have material to product multiple videos during time period, despite gathering millions of views. Yeah, I think it's possible. Three videos in 90, that, that is, 
That is essentially one video a month. I think if you're starting out and you, you want to get to this point, I think you can make a few videos a month. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely, I want to get past even the thousand subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours. That, that has been my goal since I started is that I want to get past that so that I can start with, you know, all the, the tools that, that help out creators. So I've definitely been putting in the work. I've been trying hard. I do my best. So, all right. Um, right. YouTube is applying this new eligibility criteria to the US, the UK, Canada, Taiwan, and South Korea. It will later roll it out to other countries where UPP is available. I hope it doesn't take long for this to come to Germany because, uh, you know, I'm pushing my way through here. The video streaming company is also expanding its shopping affiliate pilot to more creators in the U.S. Creators that are already in YPP have more than 20,000 subscribers will be eligible to tag products in videos and shorts and earn com a commission YouTube introduce shopping related features in for shorts for some US based creators last November that doesn't really interest me if you want my merch i have a a steam lab merch store you can go there check it out see if there's something you like hey if there's if there's nothing for you but you want some merch from me just let me know what it is and i'll try my best to make that happen YouTube is set to discuss and give more details about its new program at the VidCon conference next week. I think that's probably something that we should check out. In March, YouTube had to change its rules against using profanities at the start of the video. The company introduced a policy in November to disqualify any video using profanity in the first 15 seconds. And for 50, okay, the first 15 seconds, I can, I think I can, I've managed to do that, not use any profanity in the first 15 seconds. I think I've done that. Yeah, I think I've done that. Even if the video was an old upload, the company made the time to limit to seven seconds under the new policy and allowed profanity in music. All right, I think I got the seven seconds down, too. I don't really make music. Because, you know, no, no, no. I, I've, I'm going through the big D, don't mean, I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, country, old songs, love it. The Google-owned company has been focusing on introducing new monetization tools for short creators. I don't care about shorts at all. In February, YouTube also started sharing ad revenue on shorts with creators. That's good, but from the sound of the quartering, there was never much in that anyway. Um, during its fourth quarter 2022 earnings call, the company said that shorts crossed five billion daily views last October. Meta said Reels had 140 billion daily views across Instagram and Facebook. Like, I don't want shorts. I don't care about shorts. YouTube. Last year, YouTube announced Creator Music, a tool for artists to earn money in exchange for the use of their music in videos, in merch, the company rolled out a new metric to track an artist's reach across different platforms, including shorts. All right, so that is the article. So personally, I think this is a great move for YouTube because there are other streaming platforms where you can get money right from the start or 
with a lot less hassle to get there to start earning money. Now, YouTube, they don't care if you're monetized or not. YouTube doesn't care if you're in the partner program or not. They're putting ads before your videos, possibly some after, and maybe even during your videos. So YouTube is making money off of you, even if you're not. So this is a great move. I think they have to do this to be able to stay relevant. Although, I mean, growing a YouTube based channel is definitely probably easier than going off on some other site that people don't know quite yet. Now, you should probably do that. You should probably have at least mirror your videos from YouTube to other streaming services, other video services. I do it. My, my videos are mirrored over on Rumble. I stream on Rumble for my Enigmatic Universe, and I plan on figuring out how Kick works for when I do my gaming streams. So, that all being said, something beautiful happened last night, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Let's go ahead and check out Twitter. And here we are on Twitter. And this is a post from Mags. Now, last night when this news came out, people were talking about it. And there was information being exchanged, talking about this. And Mags went and did something beautiful for every YouTube, you know, smaller creators who need to get that push and promoting them. So this is it's absolutely, I, I remember I saw one. A uh, comment down below. I hope I see it so that I can read it to you. If not, you know, I'm going to tell you paraphrased version of that. So with the recent YouTube partnership program announcement and its rollout, let's help each other out by getting a jump start on those subs and watch time hours. Link your channel below or playlist and provide a brief summary of what you do. I like. I'll like, retweet, retweet, oh Jesus, I can't speak, and get started. All right, so, she, you know, she says that she's, you know, a little morale boost, you know, and she's uh, pinning it to her profile so everyone sees it right away. And... Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, just as an extra heads up, I forgot to mention this before. If you all do get a boost, keep a close eye on your subs, on your sub counts for a few days afterwards. YouTube's bot algorithm is easily tripped if it's, uh, if it suspects weird activity. And sadly, I gained around 20 subs yes yesterday night, and then I lost some. So I think maybe it believed that I had a few bots, which I don't know. No idea. Anyway, going through here, you can see, you know, people helping each other out. And look, Mags, great, great person. Absolutely love her. She is awesome. I love her streams. Great voice. This might sound more less of a compliment, but it, it definitely is a compliment. I, I can turn her on and just, you know, it, it's like two or three o'clock at night when she streams. I turn her on and it's just so soothing that I fall right asleep to the voice of an angel. Make of it what you will, but it is definitely a positive. And she, of course, started this whole thing, and she would not point out her own channel. This is the beautiful Mag's channel. Go sub to her. She's awesome. Plays Final Fantasy VI and interacts with her viewers. 
definitely, definitely, definitely go check Mags out. And everyone else in this tweet, you can definitely go and, and everyone has something for you. Maybe even me. So. Right. So I, uh, on the, on the, you know, trying to look at it quite, you know, quickly. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the post that I, I was looking for, but, but that being said, this is from someone else. I'm just paraphrasing. It is great to see creators actually helping out other creators and that it is. This is awesome. This, this news from YouTube dialing down the requirements to get these additional tools is great. Again, I hope it comes to Germany pretty soon because I would love to profit from that as well. And I'm definitely going to be checking out every channel that is on there. I'm going to be subbing to them. I'm going to be checking out videos, going to be liking them and watching as many as possible. That is something that I can tell you that I'm doing. All right, so this is just great news. But I'm going to leave you here for now. This is it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the YouTube new requirements. Are you hoping that we can reach that, which would be about 200 more subs? Come on, we can make it. We can make it. It would be awesome. I am definitely going to be trying to do more live streams from now on. Just not sure how I can get to it, you know, but definitely come and check me out. Go and check all of these guys out. Hey, if you have a channel that you want me to check out that you think, wow, I love this channel. Clifton, go ahead and check this guy out. Let me know what you think, you know. Comment down below. Don't be shy. Even if you're my follower, you know, and you have your own channel, even if it's smaller than mine or if it's bigger, let me know. Definitely let me know. I will check out each and every one of your posts like I always do. And I will be checking out all the channels that you send my way to look at. All right. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.